Okay, a quick video this morning before I go into my slavery. Um, and the reason I call it slavery is because you really don't have a choice. I'd rather be growing actual food and uh, giving it to people rather than just making it look pretty on a shelf, which, what is that solving? That's solving absolutely nothing but the demands of the owners of the corporation. But moving on. Ubuntu, I believe it is spelled U-B-U-N-T-U. -U -U. There are villages in Africa, I do know of that, where the community, once it gets to a certain point, the only amount of hours you would have to work towards the important things such as food and making tools and stuff in the village, for each person would only be three hours a week. Imagine only working three hours a week and then the rest of the week there's you can spend that time bettering yourself studying becoming smarter working on a certain specific trade that way you could apply that and um, you could use your talents to better benefit the village that you lived in we need to get back to simple living we've we've got so entrenched in the technology that's ultimately not doing anything for us. That's just my thoughts this morning. I thought I would share share that with you. Ubuntu. And also, if you look that up, there is a man who does speeches about Ubuntu, and I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he's a really good speaker, and he talks about the Anunnaki. That's all. Take care.